I'm going to help out the fellas today in regards to getting in Sauce's DMs. Okay. Are you lost in your headphones? No, I'm just trying to fix okay. my hair. These are my no, thoughts he has. Will sometimes get a pass. When intern John is fogging up the mirror and thinking in the shower. And Sauce. It's like he stays away. Mm-hmm. The second he hears podcast starting, my time to shine. He just wants to be in it. He does. His breath is kicking, dude. He gets, uh, oh, if you bring him next week, they'll be neat. What's he going to talk about? I mean, he's going to get his breath did. That's going to be the big thing. I was um, talking about today. Oh, welcome to the Thought Shower. Intern John is I. I'm Shelby. It's true. You could uh, <laughs> <laughs> watch today's episode, watch ThoughtShower.com. It's on Facebook as well. Going to talk about how to slide in our DMs. Okay. Very exciting. I'm excited. I, I've seen plenty of examples of people who slid in your DM, DMs, DM, DMs DM. the wrong way. Mm-hmm. Excuse, me, excuse me if I'm out of breath. I'm not stroking. Okay. It sounds like it. A little bit. I uh, did a morning show this morning. You did. I did a workout this morning. You did. And then you might have bought the biggest <laughs> Ikea dresser. I've ever seen in my life. I didn't know. I didn't measure. I just thought it, it didn't look that big. I mean, it's got to be, and I'm not wrong here, right? Like six feet across at it, least. It's huge. And it's probably huge. has about 12 drawers. Yeah, I didn't, I don't, I didn't, because I realized like the top has four drawers. Correct. And then, so it has about eight. It's definitely like for a couple. I didn't know. Not one short <laughs> adult. I didn't know. And then I, rem- I realized when you got there and you're like, wow, this is going to be really big, that I looked at that dresser years ago when I was living with my ex-boyfriend, and I realized it was too big for where I wanted to put it, yeah. so I didn't buy it. And now, well, I, now I bought it. Now look at you. I'm not, I like it, though. I don't mind. It looks great. I think it fits great in my room. I mean, we spent three hours on it. I had already been working on that for about two and a half hours before you got there. Holy shit. And there's still more left. Because when you got there, I was halfway done. Oh, really? Yeah, technically, according to the manual. Had you ever put together IKEA furniture before? Yeah, um, I put together a desk and um, this media stand that I use as a wardrobe and uh, nightstands, and I have, like, a few things. I just call shenanigans, though, because I feel like you told me that you're like, hey, I'm going to be starting this tomorrow in the morning. I was like, there's no way she's going to be done. I didn't think it would take that long, because I don't remember it taking me that long to build a media stand. But, it's also, but there also weren't that many drawers or anything. Well, that's the, like, the thing about Ikea is that, and if you built Ikea, you know. My, my biggest thing on building furniture is they, they rarely label what side is what. Yeah. Like, how much would it be to head right on their, like, colored side or wood colored side? That's what was, it took me so long because I was so anal um, when I started ah. doing it, though. <laughs> um, because I was, when I opened one of the boxes, all, everything in the box was brown wood. So I mm. thought they sent me the wrong box. So ah. I started going through the manual and I realized that for the brown wood that it, made it it put like squiggly lines on it to show that it okay. was natural wood i guess you could say i put quotations for listening yes. listeners so um i kept going through and then i got to this point where i had to use a piece of brown wood and it didn't label it like put the squiggly yeah, lines yeah, yeah. on it so um stuff like that i was also listening to a podcast while i was doing it and i got a little distracted because i was like wait what so then i had to google this person um so i got a little distracted and then that's when i made my only mistake today I made a couple <laughs> because like you get in a rhythm and then also again, it's just like this. It's very much like I'm looking at Picasso and trying to figure out what he was trying to say. Yeah. That's so you look at the Ikea instructions and you go, you know, it'd be like, I'd be a little more invested. And I mean this in the most positive way ever if we were hooking up. Cause they'd be like, at least I'm going to get like, Get something out of it later on. I thought you were gonna say if it was your friend, or because I was gonna be like, I can well, there, tell. No, there's that too, but there, there's just something about when you're helping like a platonic friend, where it's like, you know, I think they they'll figure it out. Yeah, that's fair. So, I mean, all that needs to be done is the drawers, like on the actual drawers themselves. Yes. The, what's it called? The railing. I don't know what yeah, that's like called. The, yeah, the, the thing that rolls on. Yeah, you know, the rollers. rolly thing. We're very technical. Yeah, and the little rolly thing. But, I um, mean, like, we already put the dresser in my bedroom. All the drawers are put together just need to screw on the rolly thing, and then I don't have a hammer. Also, the instruction manual did not mention anything about hammers yeah. whatsoever, and then all of a sudden you need a hammer. How much more? You have a couch coming still. Yeah, I have the couch, and then that's it. That's all. What, about, what, what are you doing the show on? I don't know. So I bought this this um it was on sale for on Wayfair. Um this that desk thing. The, the, the Do you want to take one of these? For no, now? No, 
it's not big enough. Okay, but it's bigger than nothing. I don't really know yet. Have. I don't know because I, I don't know. Remember how you broke on my tables? Yeah, that, that sucked. But um, I don't that. really know. That's true. That's a good, that might work. Um, I just don't know where I would put the board. There's just so, like, I mean, my laptop, and then I need my work laptop because um, I have to VPN into the work system. Yeah, so what, what was your plan on doing that then? So I was going to use, like, a bookshelf yeah. that I bought yeah. and that I don't like, and I was just going to try to, like, hopefully fit it in my closet. I don't think that's going to work. Why don't you just get a desk? I don't know. I don't really want to spend any more money. There's that person that giving away the free desk in your hallway. It's not free. It's like 75 bucks. Okay. I could buy a cheaper desk. Also, there's a desk shortage right now. Also, it's put together already, so it can't be that hard to get in and out. And It doesn't look like it would fit in my closet, though. Well, make a bigger closet. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to figure it out. So, But long story short, because you're you're opening day, so to speak. You're having like a... Apartment warming party, some of your girlfriends. Yeah. On Friday. Yeah. So we're at, we're against the wire, and I'm I know. I'm happy to help tomorrow because tomorrow we're we're doing the TV setup, mm-hmm. and then what else? The couch, and that's it. Then, that's it. Yeah. Then I've, I'm I'm done. My good deeds. I had not done many a good deed in 2020 apparently no, because no. the tour didn't happen. But my good deeds, I am done for another year. You definitely are at this point. I mean, I still have so much to do because I need to unpack my clothes. Like I didn't start bringing all my clothes over until like yesterday. So I don't know. I had like some stuff there, but now it's like, and I'm also like really annoying and OCD where I'm like, I don't like where this, like I literally had to struggle to figure out how to make my shelves bigger. Like the inside of my shelves, in my kitchen, because I wanted to have my glasses in a particular cabinet because I felt like uh, it made okay. sense and I couldn't move the shelves. So I broke a nail today just trying. Did you to move them that. or no? I did. Okay. I did. Also, you still need. Um, I need a stool. Yeah. So yeah. this is, by the way, <laughs> I wanted to hate so badly on you doing the Amazon uh Wish list or gift, I gift know, list? I know, I because I swore I wouldn't do it. I swore up and down that I thought that that was so tacky, and here I am. I did it. But I mean, it's cool. People are, were sending you gifts. It's it's very nice. Um, so I ended up doing it just because so many people, and I mean this in like the nicest way, but like, and I'm not, I don't mean to sound like a jerk. A lot of people have DM me asking if I have a housewarming registry is what a lot of them were saying. Um, and I didn't. And I had made a wish list for myself just for things that I potentially want eventually for the apartment. So I ended up just making a new one and throwing some stuff on this list. And it was all relatively, most of it was under $20, most of it. Well, the step stool is like sixty bucks, isn't it? No, no. it's like forty bucks. But um, but you need it. That's the funniest thing. I like, like actually you need, need a step. I can't live in my apartment without one. But um, it was really nice because almost everything's been bought on it. That's amazing. It was really nice. It well, was know what? So nice. I should have done that. I I need to move some place so I can. Because here's the thing. Mm-hmm. I feel like I've given so much to the listener, and ve- I've really got nothing in return. Oh my god, that's you such a I mean? lie. <laughs> that's such a lie. <laughs> But go on. I have given (laughs) everything I have for eight years. And what have I gotten? I don't know. Some weird DMs. I mean. It's a joke. Oh, my God. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Sold out the Warner Theater. Yes. It's going to be selling out the Arlington Draft House. And thank you for bringing that up, by the way. You're so welcome. Uh, October 23rd and 24th. If if you're watching, you can see all the information right there. Yeah. Internjohncomedy.com. We're doing social distance. We're doing temperature checks. Mm-hmm. All that good stuff. Raising money for Fisher House. Oh, why not? What they? I am um, speaking at the Fisher House. They're doing an event for the Marine Corps Marathon. Oh, that's cool. Uh, October fifteenth, I believe, or fifteenth, fourteenth. Awesome. So I'm gonna be speaking, which is gonna be dope, because uh, I'll be able to give an update that hopefully we'll raise a couple more thousand dollars this yeah. year. Uh, so if you get a chance. I know payday's coming up. Mm-hmm. I think it's 20 bucks. Uh, it's going to be a fun time. Myself, Sauce, Kyle Cromer, D.I. Med, uh, DJ Tommy Gas is going to be doing the photos for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to be a fun time Very to fun. get somewhat back to normalcy. Yeah. yeah. And maybe it'll be like a Sauce birthday because we can get a chance to really do your birthday. It will be, you know, only seven months till my birthday the, that Saturday. Look at that. That's what keeps me going sometimes, you know, just knowing that my birthday is coming. <laughs> so it was eight months a couple days ago? Yeah. Yeah, I tweeted about it. Did you? Yeah, I was like, this is all it's getting me through today. <laughs> it's fine. A lot, a lot of people thought it was funny, but I thought it was. So. You said not a lot of people <laughs> Not did. a lot of people. No. They were like, I think someone commented and was like, that's ridiculous if that's how you think. And I was like, do you know how old I am? I do not think that way. So, all right, Tyler, why don't you back off, bro? Yeah. God. Okay, guy. I was like, guy. you know what? You're mean. Well, no, that was a waste of a tweet, you jackass. I thought it was funny. You should be like, people should get a limited number of tweets. 
So I was like, that's a stupid ass tweet, son. If we all vote, like, it's like the warning levels on AIM. Oh. Like I should be able to like, if there, if you get, you get 10 dumb ass warnings a day on a yeah. tweet and then you're, 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 you're suspended. You're done. You're done. Like you, you done effed up now, eh, Ron? There's just so many people that come to mind right now that honestly need that because I think that some people strictly have social media just to make them feel better about themselves because they want to make others look stupid. Oh yeah. And I don't know why, because that takes so much energy to be like, let me find, oh, you know what? I'm going to Google this and show them how they're wrong. And it's just like, I don't get it. It's like, you're the loser. I mean, it's not, I'm not even trying to say that they're a loser, but I'm just saying. I will. If you're going to Google how people are wrong just so you can win an argument, you're a douche. Like, I had a lot of people in my DMs about my whole couch gate situation, which I am still embarrassed about. But um, I am. I'm embarrassed. But you um, should be. <laughs> I am. But I had so many people like, why don't you do this? But it's it's like, j- or they'd be like, just do this. And I that's my biggest pet peeve, like top three biggest pet peeve, is when someone doesn't say, hey, have you ever thought about doing this? And they're just like, do this. Like, I'm an idiot. No, you're the idiot. Take your time. DM me about something I obviously already thought about doing because I am smart. I am. Not all the time, but a lot of the time. If there's like a predicament, probably already thought about what you're going to DM me to act like you have to mansplain it to me. Just saying. And then I end up restricting you or muting you, especially on Twitter. Twitter, I just go crazy with the mute button. Do you really? If you, like, if I have a reply that says, like, eight, there's, like, eight replies on something that I tweeted, I'm going to see one of them. Because I've just muted at this point almost everybody on Twitter. Because the guys on there need to chill out. With with what? Just being jerks. Do you think maybe it's because you're just being emotional? I had to ask. (laughs) I had to, okay, so I just tweeted how I had a bunch of broken light switches in my, or, um, outlets in my apartment you try turning them on and i was like i had to put a little thing like yes men i tried the light switches yes men i tried the fuse box and then i had men did you try a light switch okay but did you try the light switch and the fuse box i did i did did you try turning it on and then i had my apartment come out and look at it well, did you try putting it in rice i did not there i did is. not that's what we need to do with 2020 your apartment came out and fixed it though, because I felt like that was a bit of a cliffhanger. They did. They came out and fixed it, but it's still not working. So it's not. No. Did you try the light switch? <sighs> okay. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Let's talk about DMs. What's well, talking about like my? You, you want to talk about hear about my day, my life? How's your? You just talked about your day. No, I didn't. I you talked about, about your, building. My I friend. talked about your day, me being part of your day, not about what's going on in my life. For all okay. you know, I have a lot of things going on. Okay, what's up? What's well, going on? by the time this comes out, I'll be on my way. Well, on Wednesday, take another COVID test oh, at, the, at the high school. Very yeah. exciting. That sucks. I mean, I mean, I'm glad you're doing it, but like, it looks painful. It was. It's pretty neat that I don't have to get out of my car. Oh, that's but cool. That makes it a lot easier. And There's a lot of those. If I could do the flu shot that way, that'd be dope. If I, the, the less I have to get out of my car to do something, that's the less fair. I have to get outside, honestly, it's just the better. It's just the better. I, I plan my day around that kind of stuff. I don't know that they do drive through flu shots. They should. I mean, that makes sense, especially this year, but I don't. I'm just saying. I don't know where you would go for that. You can just the run drive-thru. to. <laughs> You can run into CVS. The Minute Clinic, don't they do flu shots? Yeah, they have to make an appointment, though, don't you? I don't know. I, I, I got mine just at my doctor's appointment when I was getting a med check. They were like, should, should I get it? And I was like, I don't know. It seems like a pretty good year to get a flu shot. And she didn't laugh. And I was like, okay. I thought that was funny. <laughs> okay. Anyway. You're in the thought shower with intern John. Ask men to the story about um, the way you slide into girls' DMs without seeming creepy. I like to ask men did it. Do they ask a woman or no? Do they we're just listen, no. It we're gonna to tell you how to do it because okay. we know we know better than you do. We know what to do. The first thing they say is it helps to have a mutual friend. That way, there's somebody who can vouch for your character. Wait, help set up a mutual friend. It helps to have a mutual friend. Oh, so like if I feel like that's kind of difficult. I mean, you can figure it out on Instagram, but that's not the same as Facebook. Facebook makes yeah, it so easy. You to can't really DM though on Facebook. Yeah, I'm just saying, like... If you use Messenger, you, you're you striking out, pal. Oh, yes. Hey, listen, bro, if you slide in this girl's thing on Messenger, yeah. she can tell you about the War of 1812 because she was there, but she ain't not going to give you a fun night. <laughs> I get, I got that. Because um, she, she, she's old. Because she's old. Yeah, because she's old. Yeah. Um, no, I'm just saying, I don't... I feel like it doesn't make it look as... It's not as easy to see on Instagram. Sign the DMs? 
mutual friends. Yeah, but well, you can see at least see who's following. Yeah, but what if he's not following one of your mutual friends? It still well, that's, happens. I think this thing is a mutual follow, so that way you know uh, that it's one that court. Because the next thing they say is a comment here or there can establish some form of contact before just blindsiding the DMs. Like commenting on a photo, but it's gotta be like, it's gotta be some interaction, I think. It, it can't be something weird. I don't I don't think you can comment on a photo and say, "Wow, those jeans fit really well," because that's just gonna make anyone cringe. Um, or say, "I like it when you stand that way." Like that's just also weird. Somebody said that. Yeah, I, I get the really weird comment. What if they're like, um, "Do you have an inhaler?" Because no. you got that asthma. Yeah, no. Um, I think that if you're going to comment, just say, if it's if it's my birthday and I just posted something, say, oh, wow, I just had a May birthday or something like that. There's May really not birthday. a lot that you can comment that would make me be like, this guy's not weird. Because wow. at this point. My birthday is also May. Our parents had intercourse around the same time. No, I'm just saying. Or do you want some tonight? Okay, what, what do you suggest commenting that's going to make someone be like, oh, that guy seems nice. Is that your ass? No, I'm being or serious. You, or is your mama half reindeer? I'm being serious. What would you comment? Like, on what photo? Though? Uh, give me an example. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Let me find. I'm I like at... the way you stand. Uh, they also say make that first message count. A simple hello is not going to cut it. No. But also don't get all creepy and talk about their, <laughs> their body part of choice or how much you want to grind on it. No. Don't do any of that. Okay. What if it's just this picture? I would be like, what are you looking at? I don't, I would be like I'm not answering. Wait, let me see the photo. Because if if you're on Instagram, basic ass photo, there it is. It's just me looking with red background. Are you staring at me? You could say, like, oh. I would be like, I'd be like, I knew I saw it the day I just walked by, and that's why it's like you're looking at me like. Okay, that's kind of funny. Yeah, I would say something like, oh, you know that's funny. You liked your own photo. Okay, do you did you just do that? <laughs> no, I didn't do that. Oh, uh, me, I did actually. <laughs> Okay, I would say something like, because you can look at the location and say, oh my gosh, you're in Baltimore, love Max's Tap House, or oh my gosh, Fenwick. Be like, look, locate, rounds of fornicate. I know you're joking, because I don't think you would comment any of that stuff on no. anybody's. But I think the looking like, oh, you must have just saw me. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Uh, they say the biggest thing, uh, first of all, you can gauge their interest, their response, pay attention to, to signs, try to get a feel if they're, if, they're, uh, if they're feeling you. Okay, that's fair. But the last thing they say is you might not get a response. Be a big boy. Get over it. Lose any yeah. attitude you might yeah. feel coming on. Yeah, please don't. But this is why there's no nice guys left. Why? It's a joke. Oh. I hate myself. Yeah. That's my biggest. I That is the most annoying thing when a dude, like, it'd be like if, if I, like, bought you a drink mm. and then you walked away, which, by the way, uh, nobody's obligated to talk to you to buy a drink, but I think it's also wrong to try to get drinks out of people. And then I think that's like, doesn't help the cycle either. You no, know what I'm no. But like, it began by, oh, I bought you a drink. This is why there's no nice guys left. Yeah, dude, she just didn't want to talk to you. Yeah, like, no. That's, it's nothing really had anything to do with that. I have never let guys buy me drinks, especially now that like you really can't. But before, I like, I never let guys at bars I just met buy me drinks. Okay, there's a caveat that you just met. Yeah, like you say, and Eric can, but nobody else. Like, I don't trust that. You want to know who wouldn't buy you a drink? Who? Shuckley. Stop it. Pay for yourself. There's a Chuck Lee reference for the Oh, day. my God. JK, it's a, lie. it's a lie. I I just think that it's really hard these days to slide in DMs. Why? Just get off. Don't touch it. Don't touch you that. Say? Don't touch that. Okay. It's really difficult, I think, for guys to slide in DMs these days because guys in the past have really made it difficult for y'all. No offense. They just have. Yeah, I had a joke I wanted to do about d picks. Okay. Um, because I was talking to, I was doing the podcast with Walt, and he's like camera phones and send D pics on first camera phones. I feel like those first camera phones ruined it for dudes because Probably, we, just, we yeah. just didn't know what we were doing. Not that I ever have, mm -hmm. but like those are grainy ass things. It honestly looks like the Loch Ness monster. Gross. Yeah. But now it's like think if we had filters and stuff back then for that. Like we this the D pic came around the wrong era. I don't think it should ever have been a thing. <laughs> No, I agree, but I'm saying overall. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Yeah. Although I'm tell you, I've gotten several, several. Probably honestly, I I would I would bet you, I've gotten more D picks than the average female because of the justice number. Like that phone blows up with winger picks. What do you do? I don't respond. Oh. I mean, what do I do? I don't know. Like, do you just like delete it or be like, ew, you're gross? I just don't it's like, <laughs> <laughs> ew, you're gross. <laughs> Oh, send more. You won't. I've only gotten like three, I think. How were they? 
They were disgusting. Um, yeah. One guy, it was on Snapchat, so I made it a point to screenshot it and then send him his mom's phone number because he had his Snapchat name as his first and last name. But he still follows me on Instagram, which is pretty crazy, so good for you, dude. Um, and then another was a guy, it was when Bumble had just added the pick feature. Ah, yeah. And I feel like that was like a few years ago because I think I was out with my friend Carly and I said, this guy is too good looking to have matched with me because he was like really hot. And I was like, there's no way. Um, and he was like, you're not going to hang out tonight. And I was like, no, I'm not. And then he sent me a picture of him naked. And I was like, he definitely not now. You're fake. You're a cat. There's no way. You're a cat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like if you're that hot and you're that desperate for somebody that looks like they're 15, because at the time I definitely did not look as good as I do now, um, to hang out with you, like there's no way you're real. So then uh, I realized I'd get murdered. And then another one was just this guy that got really drunk. Um, and he went to my high school, but this was like a few years ago. And he sent his picture to tons of girls that he w that went to our high school. And classic. it was like a really weird morning where everybody's like, did you get a picture from so-and-so? Chesapeake High. Go Bison. So that, that that's not it. Sabres. Cougars. Uh, should we do the uh, social three? Yeah, right, yeah. Let's, let me, do, let's do that. Let me You're in my the thought shower with intern John. The thought shower social three. You have a question? You would DM it. Uh, Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, Bumble Grinder, Farmers Only. All of it. At intern John Radio. First question from Nikki in Spring Hills. It's Florida. Hi, IJ and Sauce. Met you guys two years ago at St. Pete. Hi. At the comedy show. I've listened to the podcast for years. IJ, how do you feel about the Bolts winning the cup? How do you feel? The uh, Lightning won the Stanley Cup uh, yesterday. Yeah. So that was Tuesday? Two days ago. No, Monday. Yesterday. Monday, two days um, ago. Listen, I, I mean, now people know this probably, but the, the Lightning were always great to us. Fantastic. Like, um, they, anytime we were down in Tampa, they, I mean, they supported the comedy tour. They, mm -hmm. they gave us Agraf jerseys. They only drive the Zamboni. The last pro hockey game I went to maybe was in Tampa. And like they gave my mom and I, I get really nice place to sound. So I mm -hmm. see some father daughter time. Father daughter. Father Jesus, daughter. Oh me. my god. Mother son time. So they they've always they were nothing but amazing to us. Like they were like, very kind. They gave us jerseys. They were amazing. So um, it was different to see a sports championship one without fans. Mm -hmm. That was a little bit different. Um, but as far as there's no, I mean, they, they again they they couldn't have not been nicer to us. Yeah, I I would say they definitely deserved it. So it was cool to see them win, especially because they care so much about their fans. Yeah, whereas yeah. like you see so many teams that are like great and up there that just don't no. do that at all. So. Also, they just like and they're great media partners. Like, there's yeah. a lot of teams. This is some inside baseball <laughs> that, that just don't care. Yeah, especially about radio. Like, there's like Tampa's giving us more jerseys than anything, and then there's it's some insane. some teams, and not the like that's whatever, but like. They'll give them to like local TV stations, but not radio, and mm. it's like okay, they, they, or they'll tell us they're out. Yeah, I'm like really, you're out of jerseys everywhere yeah. you go. That's, That's sad. So it's been uh, years. to the Lightning, they, I mean, they've been fantastic to us. Uh, Amanda and Fairfax, What's up? Sauce, I love watching your moving drama. Thank you. What's the one thing you forgot about moving? I'm getting ready to pack up and move in two weeks. The one thing I forgot about moving. <sighs> I, I honestly thought that it wouldn't be that much work because I was like, you know what? I'm going to get some stuff delivered, um, my clothes. And now it's like to the point where I'm like, I forgot like how I just am like, I, I feel like things like need a certain place. And I f I'm sure everyone can relate to that. But like for me, if it doesn't like feel right, like feng shui, but not like then I'm like, okay. And it just takes me a really long time to unpack because I need to find the perfect place for everything. Emotionally and physically. Like my kitchen, I've rearranged already three times, so. I haven't even been in the kitchen. You should check it out. <laughs> uh, last one from Rachel and Bowie. Hi, guys. Why well, I say I love listening to the podcast Thanks. and want to hang out with you guys. Where do you guys usually go to hang out and when? Oh, man. Okay. Um, I would say we mostly <clears throat> go out in Arlington because that's where a lot of our friends live. Um, like a bunch of my girlfriends live there and your your friends live there. It's also like, really, like the real thing that's open. Yeah, and, like, there's a, not, a lot of nice, like, um, just, like, a, I don't know. It's just, like, the easiest way to meet up with our friends right now. Also, we're usually posted about it on social, but I can promise you, October 23rd and 24th, we'll yeah. be out. Uh, Meridian Banker, beautiful sponsor, beautiful mm -hmm, man, Tony mm -hmm. Sauce. Meridian you help Banker. with your uh, credit, you help with getting a loan. MeridianBanker.com slash Maryland. Anthony Sauce. He's got you covered. Uh -huh. You can follow Sauce. At Shelby Sauce. Follow me at Intern John Radio. InternJohnComedy.com for the uh, tickets. We'll see you on Friday. Do it. More Thought Shower online at thethoughtshower.com.